If you're using FL Studio and you want to make a beat that sounds like this. Then keep watching because we're going to make you your first beat. Assuming you have FL Studio installed and opened up correctly, you're going to want to go to Sematics.fm. Once you're here, you're going to see all products right next to it, freebies. These are your free melody loops that you can use. So for your first beat, you're going to want to put one of these into FL, and we're going to put drums behind it. It's going to be like a sample. Whatever you're looking for, there's drum packs, melody packs, you see hip-hop, drum loop, there's plugins, VSDs as well. So just look for a melody loop, like Utopia. Like, this is a good one. I have this one. So download something like this. You can see the preview right here. So download whatever you want to use. Once you're in FL, if you type Sematics right here, I have it right here, but if nothing comes up for you, you're going to want to go to Options, File Settings, and make a path right here to wherever you saved your sample. So you're going to want to click on an open one, click this folder right here, and right here you can select whatever you're trying to use. I recommend making a folder called Royalty Free and another one that's not royalty free so you know what you can use. It just keeps it organized. Once everything's imported, you can type Sematics and find one. You can see all the information about your loop, and you're going to have at least two different files. So you got this and this. Once you drag them in, you're going to notice that it's kind of offbeat in the timeline. See how it ends between the 6 and the 7? That's because if you read this sample name, 90 BPM B major, right here is your tempo where it says 130. So you're going to right click it, type in value, 90. For you, it might not be 90. It depends on your sample. So you got to read that. So now if I were to loop it, I go the timeline. Notice how it sounds good when it's looped. You don't really hear a cut when it ends. That's what we want. So from here, we're going to want to add some drums. So if you don't have any good sounding drums or you just got FL Studio, I recommend the Saturn drum kit. It's completely free. I'll put the link in the description, but it's made by this guy. It sounds really good. So that's what I'm going to be using for this. From here, I can type Saturn drum kit. If you type Saturn and it doesn't come up once it's downloaded, remember you got to go options, file settings, and then make a new path. So I can open my Saturn folder. You can see it's color coded. Everything looks nice. You have everything from 808s to snares, claps, hi-hats. You have it all. So if I want to start with a kick, I'll pick that one. You can drag it straight onto this drum rack. So, and then you click, when you're in your drum rack, you can click pattern right here to hear what you're making. Or what I recommend you do is you place it into here. So you're going to place it in your timeline and now, if you go back to song, you can hear your whatever you put on the drums with your instrument. So for most songs, depending on the genre you're doing, you're going to want kicks, hi-hats, claps, and an open hat. You can add more or less depending on what you're looking for, but I'm going to add an open hat. We could put an open hat in the beginning, like this. We could put some hi-hats in. I like the sound of this one. And then with your hi-hats, instead of clicking wherever you want, you can just right-click your hi-hat, fill each two steps. So there you go. And then you'll see right here, even though I filled each two step, it didn't make it all the way through. So I'm just going to, you know, extend this bar, extend this uh, drum rack, fill each two. Now it fills up the whole thing. So before I get crazy with the kicks, I like to add claps, so pick a clap or a snare that sounds good to you. And then you're going to want to place it right here. So there you go, I just placed them like this. You can play this by ear if you don't know the actual theory behind it, but <clears throat> you can usually hear if it's off or not. Another thing you can do is right click on your sound and click piano roll. And these are our claps, so you'll notice when it gets to this purple mark, it's going to play the clap. So that's just a quicker way to maybe put them at a higher octave or mess with it, get more control. 
I'm not going to be doing that for my claps right now, but I will do it for the kicks. So if I right click on my kicks and then hit control and scroll up with my mouse, now I can see the kicks and the lines that they're on for their timing. So. <laughs> I think that sounds good to me. Also notice, it's kind of hard to hear the kicks right now. So what you can do is you can just turn up your kick, make it louder for now. We'll, we'll mix this later, but just turn your kick up. Or if your melodies are too loud, the fastest way to turn the volume down is to go to the middle right here. And just decrease them maybe your pianos are way too loud in the future you can set it to a mixer track and then adjust them like this but we're not going to do that right now you can just turn these down unless you know how to use the mixer track now it's easier to hear our kicks so we can keep going so i have a kick pattern that i like i have hi-hats i have claps and an open hat now i want to make my hi-hats roll a little bit so if you click open piano roll see we're here we can actually click on one of these and it'll clone it so if we want to roll in the beginning that's how you would do it i didn't like the sound of that but what i will do is delete this by right clicking it drag this hi-hat make it bigger even though this is still one hi-hat what we can do now is hit control left click and then alt a and this opens up our piano roll time time something i forget the name of this but now you can go to your time mole knob and drag it see how many hi-hats that just made that just rolled it for us way quicker, so. That was too much. I'm going to do a little less. That sounds good to me. I like the sound of that roll. Now, it gets kind of stale using the same drums over and over, so I'm going to add a... I'm going to add a counter snare. I like the sound of soda right here. So I'm going to drag it right here and find a spot for these. So I put the soda right here and I put them between my third and my fourth clap. And then the kick hits so it sounds like this. Notice I was in the background because I didn't want it to be too loud. I turned the volume down with this right here. Another thing you can do is find your main melody. So let's say I want that to be more in the background of the audio. So I'm going to double click it. See how it's sent to track one. For you it's going to look like that. Send it to track one, and then click this right here. This opens up your mixer. This might look complicated, but remember you send it to track one. So it's insert one, find an open slot, click it, and then find fruity reverb two. This adds reverb. So if you turn down your dry and turn your wet up, sounds a lot better. It sounds more in the background of your audio. I'll even turn the volume down a little bit. Now, I know this is very basic, but this is a good way to start your first beat. So I'm going to help you make an intro. This right here. And then we can have another part of the melody fade in like this, maybe. That sounded good, but I'm going to take this right here. Drag it. This makes it so that it fades in more and it's not so abrupt. Also, when you're duplicating, so I had it like this. If I want to duplicate all these over, you can select them all and then hit Control B and it moves them over. Last thing I want to do is remove this string, so I'm going to right click it. Now let's listen back to what we have for our intro. So there we go. Another thing you might want to do is have it fade in. So I showed you how to do this already, but if you want to do it the official way, you can open up your mixer track again, click master. This is everything, every instrument. 
combined, you're going to right click the volume, this is your volume slider, and click create automation clip. Now, you see you can get it to fade in and out, like this, but obviously we don't want the whole thing fading in and out, so we could drag it to just the beginning. Right click to put a dot right here, and drag up your volume. See how it fades in? Maybe that was too fast. But... Something like that. Then you could do the same thing for your outro and have it fading out. That's a good way to have your song end without it just suddenly ending. So yeah, this is the method I would recommend using for making your first beat. Take some free samples, take some free drum kits. Don't get too invested in it before you start learning what you're doing using FL. Make sure you like this software. Make sure you like using FL Studio itself before you get too into it. I'd recommend Somatics down below, Drum Kit, the Saturn one down below. Import both of them, try to make something similar to this, and then you can get more complex as you get better with it. Thanks for watching, make sure to like and subscribe, and here's the final beat.